Hello computators, welcome to my YouTube playlist, New Stuff, where I show you powerful tricks for your web development to create your own websites and also show you what's going on at Computate.org. So in my last video I showed you how to embed fonts, true type fonts, directly into your web's web page and today I'm going to show you how to go in and edit your true type fonts in Linux, which is really powerful and really easy. All you need is the right application and you can tweak any font you want. So let me show you how. Um, I, I'm working on my on the home page for the site and I got this character in French here that's that doesn't exist in my font that I left out. So I'm gonna go add it in and and so we're going to use the bird font program and if you're on Ubuntu all you got to do is run a sudo apt-get install bird font and I already got it there so anyway but if you're on CentOS or Red Hat, you're going to want the RPM. So you can search for bird font and find this site right here. Go to download. We're going to choose to pay zero and continue. And there you go. If you want the latest and greatest Debian uh, file for Ubuntu or whatever, you can get that too or the RPM. So go ahead and grab bird font and get that installed. And then let me show you it here, how it works. So we go to graphics, bird font. And I've already been working with this font 1979.bf. Um, so you're gonna wanna find your true type file and, and open that up. And then, and then when you go and save your font in this editor, it's going to save it as a .bf file, which stands for bird font. So, um, so it keeps track of your settings that you've been working on. Uh, anyway, so this main page default shows the basic ASCII characters, but we want more than that. If you go to all glyphs, um, you can see all the ones that that have been uh, updated for this particular font and then if you go to Unicode you get the full table of characters to work with and so we're gonna scroll down until we find the OE character so there's a there it is right there We'll do the capitalized one and the lowercase one. So to start off, you want to grab the closest thing to this character that you can find. So let's go and grab an O, just a plain O up here. We will copy that to the clipboard with control C and scroll down to that square again right there and paste with control V and so now we need to append it with an E as well so here's an E we're gonna open up this E with a double click and use the control mouse wheel to scroll out hold down the control key Okay, so if I click on this, because I'm on these uh, move control points, it, it shows all the points that you can adjust to, uh, for the font, or for each of these parts of the letter. But we're going to grab the Move Paths tool and click on this, and it highlights it in blue. And we're just going to copy that to the clipboard with control C, go back to our overview, and then go to our OE character here, 
and scroll out with control scroll wheel and paste that letter in okay now I'm just gonna move these together till they're close and it's a little confusing for me to have that piece jutting out into the O so I'm gonna go and edit the control points so we can just go we can delete these two but these two are still problematic I could uh, move this down until it's just right or we can go and delete these two control points here and we should get a nice straight line looks good to me okay so zoom out move paths that looks good but there's one more thing we need to do these um, lines here you can adjust right here and they tell the spacing of this letter if we left it the way it was then the following letter would go and position itself directly over the E which is not what we, not what we want okay so let's move that out just a bit and then we have that letter now we'll go and copy this and paste it right here and that looks good so when you go to file save it's gonna save it as .bf but I wanna update my true type font so you can do that with the import export menu now since I've already exported the font before it goes and directly updates it the way I want it but for the first time you're gonna see this dialog which is in the export settings and so it's the file name without the prefix and then the file name for Mac which I don't really care for and this unit per M I just leave it as the default and I don't need it saved as SVG I just need the true type font so let's do that and then export the file again okay so now we should have a true type font that's up to date if I do a locate um, 1979.ttf I see it here so let's check the date modified on that ls space dash l space path and it shows it is indeed updated at March 17th at 25 after midnight which is perfect so now we just need to update our web page and see if it worked so I want to see this letter here changed to the right font okay so I'm gonna regenerate this page and so I do that here by running this script this unit test and it's done so let's see what it looks like that looks good we did it okay so so go ahead and edit the fonts that you want and if you are looking for fonts go check out my previous video on embedding fonts in your website because I go and show you a site that you can go to to download some free ones uh, the to your style so uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed this and remember uh, switch to Linux computate your way to success and life is terrific just enjoy it